Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. I know so many of you are cheering right now to see this car and to see me starting this video. Guys, me and Chris have been through this car. We've spent hours on it, literally hours upon hours. And we just cannot get to the bottom of it. You'll all be happy to see it is not in its usual place. Guys, I've got the car around at Dave Patrick's. We have been waiting somewhere here we have been waiting patiently because i don't want anybody else to look at it i want it to go to these guys they do all of our electrical work that we get stuck with or something that we can't quite figure out and believe it or not this has been the quickest he could get me in his diary was eight weeks from the last video when i give him a call guys and i've been we've been patiently waiting and i know a lot of you have as well and you keep saying in every video, give me an update, give me an update. And guys, we just didn't have an update. We filmed various bits and pieces of videos on it. And we just ended up scrapping them because we was no further on with it than what we was in the last video. So after a long wait, we've now got it down at Dave Patrick's. And guys, he's going to go through and do lots and lots of tests. You know we had no communication with it. We called a Bentley specialist out that cost me quite a lot and cost us quite a lot of money. They just plugged it in and said, yeah, no communication, nothing we can do. So I've left it here with the professionals, guys. They're going to they're gonna get on it later on this afternoon and go right through it and hopefully come back with some answers for us. Guys, I will put their link in the description, but what I will say, a big, big please ask, do not call them up asking for advice. It is a small family run business. There's only two of them here and they already struggle to keep up with the work. Hence the eight to nine week wait we've had on this car. So we're gonna leave them to crack on with it and I'll update as and when they update me. So guys, we have just heard back from Dave Patrick's and they've had a good, good few hours on it. Well, I'm gonna ask Chris to really give us a bit, tell me what he said because I don't wanna get it wrong but he pretty much come up with the same thing as everybody else in the means of no communication. Correct, yeah. So what did he, I'll put well, it on loudspeaker because. So basically there's three supplies to the ECU. Carry on, yeah. Um, one of those is to pin number three. Yeah. And that's missing. The power. So, yeah, there's three, three power supplies, ignition, uh, ignition, stroke power. Yeah. But number three is missing. Uh, the other two are there, so but he's removed the ECU, uh -huh. he's put it on the bench, and uh, that's bench tested it, bench tested it, and still come up with exactly the same thing. Yeah, exactly in fact, same. I'll in, guys, I'll include an image now of what he's just sent me. So that image is of that actual ECU, and he's bench tested it and well, come up. I think up what he means by the bench test is he's put a power supply to that number three. Yeah. And still no communication. Still no communication. So what he's actually said to me is, I mean, I already took this ECU out and took it somewhere, but it ended up sitting there for over a week, didn't it? And they never touched Longer it. Than that. Longer than that. So I actually went and got it back. Anyway, what he said to me today is, Rob, I will only use AC Tronics for ECU remanufacturing and testing. So it's up to you. I can post it out now, or you can come and get it and actually physically take it there yourself. And Chris said, Rob, go and get it. I can carry on here, get it up to there and get it, get them to test it, guys. So I'm gonna whip round there now, pick up the ECU, it's ready to go, and we're going straight to Colchester to get it dropped off. I'll update as soon as I know anything. That's dedication, guys. Dedication to get this car back on the road. Two, just oh, just under two hour drive, AC Tronics. I know so many of you recommended these in the last video. So they're actually gonna remanufacture that ECU unit. They're gonna run their own tests on it, etc., etc. And they're gonna keep me updated. He said you'll constantly get um, texts or emails just to give you updates on it so let's jump back in here i've now got to head off to the other side of essex anyway because they're, they're um actually shut where i'm going but they're leaving some bits outside for me so 
I'll be back, guys, when we get an guys, update. Guys, stick with us. I know there's been a bit of waffle in the front of this one, but it's due to high demand. You all want to see it. So we're just going through this whole process as and when it comes to us. So I've just had some really bad news. I've just received a message from AC Tronics, an email, actually. And, guys, look at this image. And as you can see, they've actually said to me that that unit is non-repairable and it's possibly caused by reverse polarity. So we kind of guessed that, didn't we? Someone's had a jump pack on it, ran the wrong way, or maybe even 24 volts because the tracks, even the tracks underneath that particular part is actually, they said it's destroyed. They can't remanufacture it. They can't repair it. So... I just rung Daryl at Dave Patrick's and gave him that information and within five minutes he's called me back saying, Rob, I have found this one on eBay. It's the exact correct one for your car. It's the right part numbers, etc, etc. So I am just waiting for a call back from the chap with this ECU on eBay. I've left him a message. I just want to confirm that it is 100% before we pull the trigger because it is a lot of money. So we are gonna to have to wait for the, the um, AC Tronics as well, guys, huge shout out to them. They actually wouldn't even charge us. All I had to pay was the carriage for them to return it. Obviously we would like it back. So they've popped that in the post and we're gonna get that back at some point tomorrow. So I'll be back with an update as and when. Hopefully guys, you're getting used to this by now. AC Tronics, the ECU is back. I have spoken to them on the phone and they've said that they actually seal it back up and do the screws back up. But Chris said, Rob, people are going to want to see it like in real life. That was your words, so wasn't it? We. So do we, yeah. So Chris is going to get that out. Do you want a bit of time to get all the, the star drive and all that ready for it? how much waffling you're going to do, isn't it? Well, I'm going to try not to. If anyone asks, Rob, we've opened it that way because it's got the address on yeah, the other there's, there's an invoice there as well. Yeah. So. Guys, I'll let Chris get his right size star driver out. I'm and then using them over there, Rob. I don't know. No, he's got the right one there, so we'll stay rolling. Guys, while Chris is undoing that, I could actually save a bit of time on a later on previous, a uh, next bit of recording. Westminster Auto Spares, Rolls-Royce and Bentley Specialist. They only break those cars. I want to say a huge shout out to them guys. And I'm going to put their links in the description if you need any Rolls-Royce or Bentley parts. Because the ECU that has been, that Daryl sent me, Chris. Oh yeah, the I other haven't even day. told you the price, yeah. have I? Thousand pounds, it is on eBay. I've rung this chap up, Colin. Amazing, explain the situation. He's done it for £700, all in, delivered, and it is actually on its way. So that's, yeah, we, you know, huge shout out to them. But and what's the situation with it? He said it possibly could be plug and play because the chip may be, he said he knows there's a, a separate um, box aerial that runs the key, but right. failing that, the new ECU that we're getting will have to be virginalized then the yeah. car will have to go up to Bentley to be programmed. It is a nightmare, but... I don't know if they've restuck that, Rob. God, I can smell no. that now. I think we're going to have to uh, run, cut a blade, it. run a blade around Guys, we're cut there for a minute. Let Chris run a blade around that, or as he... No, he's there. We need three, three hands for Yeah, we again. will cut till Chris has got it open, Hold guys. It's, it's, it's a scrap, isn't it? So Yeah. It's a... Yeah, it does smell a bit I burnt. can smell it from here. Probably should have gloves on, really. It's not that burnt though in there, is it? Yeah, we're gonna have to I'll let you blade. get it open. We're you gonna have to get, blade that all the way You wanna get gloves on anyway, don't you? So we'll leave it there for a second. Guys, so that, that image they sent me, I was expecting this to be cremate. They obviously zoomed in, Chris, yeah, didn't they? Isn't it? So guys, look how tiny it actually is. But then when we zoom in, but 
whatever this little chip is here, Rob, there should be another one there, apparently. Boy. And it's melted to nothing, but... But you just pointed this out to me as well. Yeah, all of those are black. Oh, I don't yeah. know if that shows yeah, up, does it, it shows there? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. And then, on the inside of the casing, this... God, that stinks, mm, surprising, it? isn't it? But that... Uh, I think that's toast, Rob. Oh, I think, Chris, I'm going to go out on a whim here. I reckon that might be our problem. <laughs> I think that's uh, <laughs> that certainly uh, what, looks like it. What Daryl did say is he's still got no live for a four pin free from the car. No. He said, this ain't the end of the problems, Rob. No. This is the main problem. But he said he can put a power to this, the new one, plug it in and, and do a scan. Yeah, but course. he said he still needs to track down that issue but we got the new ecu on the way so westminster auto spares limited thank you very much like i said guys link in the description thank you to ac tronics because yeah. they he opened basically they do a test before they remanufacture well of course, and, it, yeah. and he opened it up and said i can't run my tests i'm not charging you no, so no. it was just literally the bit of 18 pound carriage back next day so Right, shame right. that, isn't it? Yeah, guys, That's we're gonna we're gonna expensive component, a right? very expensive. We are gonna pick up once the new one arrives. A couple of days later, and look what's just arrived in the post. In fact, I say just arrived. I, I knew it was coming, and I've been sat outside my house for the last forty-five minutes waiting for it. I've got here, and Aidan said, "Rob, we've done." And his dad, they've done research. This is not plug and play, is it? No. But no. it, it is to a degree, but it's going to be immobilised. Yeah, obviously it's going to have, it's going to have the last immobilised data from the Bentley that that car's come from. Right, so somehow we've got to get someone out to programme that in. But, I mean, that's yeah. going to be later. Well, but, worst case scenario, uh, the immobiliser data could be taken out of it, so it is a standalone ECU. Right, OK, but we'll um, try and get the original yeah, put back it, in Obviously, it. you'd want it immobilised, yeah. realistically. So guys, I just said, I've just driven round here to drop it off. I was like, please, can we plug it in? They're like, Rob, it's not really worth it, but yeah, okay, we'll do it for you. And they know I'm recording the video, I don't talk. Can we chuck that on? Put me open the bonnet, or you all right? Yeah. That's this end, isn't it? It's been quite a while. I'll stand there, mate, so I'm not bad. Uh, just pop pointing the camera in your face. There is uh, that other e ECU in there. You said that might be a gearbox ECU or something yes. like that. Yeah, more, more than likely going to be a transmission ECU on this, next to this. Like I, said. I think that goes around the other way, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, the ECU's going to. Well, it fits nice. It's definitely the right one. And first thing you want to check is, you was mentioning, that temperature gauge. Am yeah, I better off in the passenger side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, dude. Right, so, like I said, as you noticed in your last video, the temperature goes shoot straight yeah, up. Yeah, it was going straight into the red. Right, so we'll see what it does. Well, there you go, that's the ignition on now. Oh, it hasn't moved. Should we see what it does? Yeah, but them wipers, they not... Do they not turn off? It could end up being a wiper mower on this. It could have lost a part position. Yeah, but well, you've got your computer. Can we, can we push the start button? Is it going to hurt anything? Just see if it does. He's not see what it does anyway. Yes, yes, guys, it runs. Do that again. <laughs> yes. Why is that cutting out? Because of that immobiliser. Yeah, immobilised data. That's what it would be cutting a fuel pump out somewhere or the injectors. Oh, or... do you know what though? To hear that run like that. Oh, how nice it is to hear that. There's loads of stuff going in here though. Wipers, there's a heater go. I can hear something. Oh, I thought they was on, but they're not. Guys, we are gonna get Aiden. To, do you mind doing a quick scan? Yeah. Just just while I'm here. Yeah, see if I can get it. And we'll have a look, see well, what it comes yeah, up with. There's a lot with. more stuff come up now on here that we didn't have before, as in regards to throttle controls, bring up a warning message on there as well. Yeah, before there was like red, green. There was loads of stuff on there. But guys, our good news is that we're that much more closer to it. We let him do a scan and I'll cut back oh, in. Proper computer. Got it plugged into the OBD. And what did you just say, Aiden? He's got communication with it. 
Certainly do. And there's a fault there that he just said you definitely do want to see. Point that out to us. Just that one down here with the incorrect immobiliser key. And mm -hmm. then, so it knows that it's... Immobiliser is wrong. Yeah. So ultimately, we just need to get this immobiliser. We'll but do is we'll see if we can actually clear these fault codes out and see what comes back. Well, I'm guaranteed that obviously the immobiliser one's obviously going to come back. Yeah. Right, okay, so it's saying that all codes have been cleared out a bit, but if we just turn it off and then back on again, we'll try and give it a start as well again. Yeah, lovely. So it is going to come back up with that yeah. same code, isn't it? Yeah, I'll come back out of this. Aidan, I'm not going to take up any more of your time, honestly. Fine. I know that you've got a lot on here and I've just imposed on you. Guys, they've got quite a lot left to do on this car, so, i.e., the wipers. Um, there's a few other little bits and pieces and that's come back yeah, that's incorrect immobiliser guys so this is ultimately the only fault on this vehicle apart from the few that you and your dad have found yeah the bits that we know about anyway so in but. the in the background I'm going to make a few calls and see if I can get this immobiliser sorted uh, Aiden is as well and he's going to get those wipers looked at and the other little bits on the car but to hear that run finally I'm over the moon and I know you guys have only had it round here a while, but it is a big lump of metal yeah, that yeah, you well, can't we're, push. I'm glad to see the back of it. Yeah, definitely. So, Thank you very much. No worries. At guys, all. look at the cheesy grin. Honestly, I am so, so made up. We are made up about that because we've had it. Do you know what? Probably this video still wasn't going to go out. Oh, Chris didn't know what's just happened. I've just come back and showed him what was recorded. And he's like... He, he actually said to me halfway through the video, Rob, finish it off and put it out. And I know that he's thinking of me because he knows that I'm in the comment section of the videos and he knows how, how badly we have been hounded about, well, yes, yes. about this car. Guys, in every single video since the first one we ever put out, I have been bombarded with messages on every video about the Bentley and we just haven't managed to find that magic wand in all these years. And we we do not cheat you guys. We will not cheat you. We are not gonna do a video on something that's nothing. No There's no resolution to it. So yes, me and Chris had probably another two full days on that car going through testing things, diagnosing things, while we was waiting for Dave Patrick's to become available with that appointment. He's so good at his job. He's so well known. All of the garages and the trades use him. So it is, you get a waiting list with him, don't you? And there, there's never no pushing in or shoving in. I can't believe he didn't tell me to bugger off, to be honest, when I just turned up smiling with that ECU and said, please, can we plug it in, you know? But he was really, really good. So that's why this is the car's still not finished is it no but we're we're that close now yeah we, um, we would ordinarily we would have liked to get it completely finished then put the video out that's right but due to what you've just said we've decided to get this video out there it, updated it, it does get can see where we're coming from it does get it updated and it's also no surprise to quite a lot of you guys you all know quite a lot of you mention why don't you get a gopro put it on your head we are only able to put out three videos a week because i'll record and edit on my phone if i was unplugging memory cards from gopros it's all got to be done on a computer yeah would it be a little bit better and a little bit sharper for you guys would you see that little bit more probably but that would take hours of editing for me and you'd only get one video a week so that's the reason as well why we're putting this video out because it's been done over so many days. We've recorded other stuff in between. And I to, sometimes well, I go story, to Chris. The story's been going on months. Hasn't yeah, it? as sometimes I go to Chris like that. He's like, what's up, mate? I'm like, I've got bits of that video there, bits of that video. So the quicker I can get this one out for you guys, the quicker I can delete it all and we can get back to some sort of normality because this has been filmed over such a long period of time. It's trying to piece it all together anyway, guys. I seem to be waffling on, but genuinely there is reason in it. Yeah. And that's why we're putting this video out. Please now drop your comments and thoughts in the comment section. And I know quite a lot of you are going to say, oh no, a bloke that can do that immobiliser. So send me over a message, guys. Send me his number. 
it, we always take people's comments. We always read them all. We always take advice from people. And if you've got any ideas or you know someone who's going to be the man for it, then we'd love that because the sooner we get that done, the sooner you get another video and we can get that one turned around and out the door. Or up for sale. Up for sale. I do want to also just quickly mention, for those of you guys that are probably watching this video and haven't seen the other one, this car does not belong to us. It's on an SOR, sale or return. And the guy has agreed that we can return this car at any point. But I think we've, we're quite, we're quite really into deep, it now, really guys. Deep. I mean, can I mention a rough figure? Is, would that be all right to do it at the moment? What we've spent on it? No, but it's a lot already. It's quite a lot of money, guys. So you've heard that Bentley run. It is going to be coming back to the channel very, very soon. There's not going to be a long wait for this one. It's coming very soon. Guys, that is enough. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Drop your comments in the comment section. Like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you Friday in the next one.